So Elon Musk wants to, or potentially is going to take Tesla private. And uh, now they're putting, and he's putting on a $420 per share. Obviously for the last couple of days, the, the Tesla has risen as well too. But there's also a learning lesson that I want you to learn from, if you've been watching the news media about Tesla, there's also a big lesson I want you to learn about trading and trading itself. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because trading is difficult, right? There's so many areas you need to know to become a good trader. Trading systems, mindset, the foundations, chart reading. There's so many areas you need to know to become a really, really good trader. So this video here is to become educational only and there is no guarantees of making any money on any single given one trade. So be smart about the way that you're trading and protect yourself. Also, grab a 100% free brand new 12 hour trading course, foundations, chart reading trading systems and so much more mindset link in the description go click it right now i'm giving away 100 free free access all right so traders the first thing i wanted to say is that obviously tesla has come out and said oh tesla <laughs> elon musk has come out and said that he potentially wants to take tesla private and he wants to um you know and it's potentially going to be so it's potentially going to be done at 420 dollars per share now um whether that happens or not, the it's you know it's obviously here or there, right? Now, obviously, we're starting to gain a bit of momentum where we are right now on on Tesla. We do have a bit of a gap here. If I bring up my candlestick chart here for a minute, I can see that we have a bit of a bit of a, a short term gap here right now. So, if the way that I'm seeing it on the short term technical basis on, on this is that we did break past these levels of of support through here so all these levels of support through here so and we have this gap through here that if we do break back below these levels then um then we have a really good chance of it coming back down and closing this gap through here so that's what, what i see short term technically um on that but it's so important that that you know whether whether elon musk uh does take a private or not and stuff like that one thing I want you to to think about, as I was as I was watching some news uh, on YouTube actually about about this, one of the things they actually said was that Tesla is one of the most shorted companies out there. So that means that Tesla, amongst all the companies out there in the marketplace right now, Tesla is the number one top shorted company out there. But yet Tesla does what? Tesla just you know, every time it goes down, it makes finds its way back up. Every time it goes down, it finds it may, finds its way back up. Now, this is what I within this where within the uh, within within Tesla. This is something that is so important to understand that when you are trading, that you trade what you see, not what you hope for, or not what the fundamentals say, or not what anything says. Because Tesla has been Tesla hasn't been making money for years and years and years and years, right? But yet everyone has been like. Short-term investors have been thinking that, so they've been shorting it. Long-term value, long-term value investor, they saying this thing's broke, this thing's going down, and so on and so forth. But guess what happens to Tesla? Every time it goes down, it goes back up again. Goes down, go back, goes back up again. Now I'm not saying that's going to continue like that. Who knows what's going to happen moving in the in, in in the future? The point I'm trying to say here is that if you are trading based on the fundamentals. If you're trading based on, you know, this company has this PE ratio, look at Amazon, like, like, you know, if you, if you, if you're taking, if you're looking at companies that don't make money and you're putting on a position based on that alone, that is, that is, that is completely wrong, especially when you're trading. Now I'm, I'm, I'm talking to people that are based on trading, right? They're, they're trading the market, they're getting in, they're holding for a short time frame and they're getting out and they're trying to ge and you're generating cash flow from the markets. Make sense. So the thing is, is that when you are, um, when you, when you, when you're trading the market, it's so important that, as you can see, that even though Elon Musk company, you know, it it doesn't make money, it hasn't made money for years, the the stock still does what it's going to do, right? Technically, and so on and so forth. So this is just a big lesson for people out there that you want to trade what you see and not what you hope for, or not what any other fundamental news and all that sort of stuff out there. Make sense? Look at this here. Um, so that's so that's that's one of the that's one of the biggest lessons that I that I that I saw from this one here is that most people are shorting this stock, yet there has been no reason to go short when it comes to my system anyway. There's no reason to go short on on this stock here. So will will Tesla go private? I don't know, 
But the reason why I'm doing this here is that I just want to share with you that so many people take positions based on the Shemitah or the number calculations or time cycles or either all of this. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like, my goodness. So anyway, guys, that's, that's the lesson for today. I hope you can see from this lesson here from Tesla that even though something may be fundamentally not right, if there's technically reasons why this thing is going to go up, guess what? It's going to go up whether you like it or not. Let me know what you think in the chat box below and let me know what you think about the whole uh, Tesla, uh, Elon Musk taking Tesla private for, you know, for, uh, for, for, you know, for $420. Let me know what you think. Thank you.